Hi, my name is Carmen and I'm here with Discovery UMES channel. And today's topic is going to be about depression and how kids deal with it in college. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carmen and I'm here with Mr. Cedric Rashaw talking about college depression. First question for you is what is your official job here on campus? My job, I am a college counselor here at UMES. Um, I help students with every, whatever issue they, they are facing, um, whether it's like relationships or we cover, we help students with a variety of mental health issues. You know, and our goal as a college counselor is to make sure that the student um, has the correct resources to graduate on time. Okay, so I hear today is the National College Depression Screening Day. What exactly is that? The National College Depression Screening Day is a chance for students to take a depression screening and to see, let the counselor see what, what the student, where the student is at and how we can help them once we monitor the screening test. So what's the overall goal for this day? Like why do colleges do this? The goal is, they, is like students um, are apprehensive about coming to college um, t to see a college counselor, but the screening helps the student um, identify the areas of depression and that gives us a chance to look at the screening materials and get in contact with the student. Okay. So what are the different forms of depression? There are three several different forms of depression. Once you have a mild depression where the student is just depressed for an instant, um, a couple of weeks over an issue. Uh, moderate depression is a prolonged depression over, um, say, you're worried about a grades. And we have se severe depression where it's a lot of things going on and it's like kind of chronic. So say you or a friend is dealing with depression, where do you go to get help? Um, first of all, it helps to talk, help this, your friend identify um, that they have a depression, they're struggling with depression, and it helps to go to a counseling services or somebody they feel comfortable to talk to. That's the first step, getting it out, not keeping it in. But I know going to a counselor and talking about like your issues are really scary things. So, what should a student do to help like relieve? the pressure of, oh, I don't want to go to the counselor because I don't want to look crazy or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, just the student can come get information. Um, if they're not, don't, they don't feel comfortable with, with sharing that information, they can come get information from the college um, center and just read over the material that we offer, the services that we offer. And once they feel comfortable, they can make a connection. And then or we can go out and see the student if they don't feel comfortable coming to our office. OK. And what are the warning signs for the most common Depression. Depression. One of the signs you will see students shut down, um, not active, low energy, no motivation, uh, a withdrawal from friends, family, things like that. Okay. So, of course, everybody thinks freshmen are the main ones that are going mm -hmm. through depressions because freshmen are just so fragile these days mm -hmm. and coming into college. But honestly, which class it has the most occurrence for depression? What we see in the counseling services here is juniors and seniors because of um, not knowing whether they're going to graduate on time, um, financial stress, not being able to finish college, and other things going on at home. Um, thinking about you know where they're going to go from here, uh, what's going to be my future? I don't know what to do. Things like that. Okay. And what is the overall best prevention for depression? Um, there's several. We, we all get stressed. Um, first, you have to talk about, go to someone that you can trust and talk about it. Um, depression is treatable. Like, you have, if it gets severe, we have medications, but um, we do talk therapy, um, motivational tools. But the first step in handling depression is finding someone you're comfortable with and talk about it, and we go from there. I want to say thank you so much for doing this interview with us and just letting the student body know that depression is something that everybody goes through, but it is curable. Okay. So thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm with Dr. Davenport, and we're going to ask her a question about depression. What would you tell a friend going through depression? I would tell them that they should talk to someone. Everyone has problems, and it's good to talk to somebody and try to get different ideas. I'm here with Marquez, asking him questions about depression. 
So what would you do if you saw a friend with depression or seem like they were going through it? Well, I would first, I would, you know, try to talk to him on the side, you know, pull him over, you know, invite him to dinner or something, like, hey, I feel like you're going through something, you know. And then I would offer them suggestions on ways to get them help to deal with their depression. Do you see a lot of people down and stressed out and depressed in college? Yeah, but they try to hide it, you know, but um, what you see a lot of, you see a lot of the people who go off to themselves, but they find like a quiet area, you know, somewhere to study or get away from stress, or they go somewhere, play basketball, do something to get away from it. So what activities around school do we have so people can just relieve stress and just relax and have fun? We have many activities, especially um, my organization, Star Status. Um, Everybody gets to come out, you know, show like love to everybody, support all the organizations on campus. There's a lot of events coming up with SGA, CAB, um, Worth, a bunch of organizations just to come out and look. And then there's also parties, um, recreational activities, community service, a lot of things people can do to get involved on campus. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Ms. McConan, a new counselor here at UMES. What are some warning signs that you've seen with people with depression? Uh, so warning signs of depression would be um, sometimes they stop eating, um, sometimes they're a lot more sleepy than usual. So, you know, um, if a person is usually in bed from sunup to sundown or if they're not participating in activities like they usually do, if, you know, this person is usually like the one that's always leading the wave at the football and basketball games and they're not there doing that anymore, you know, if, if they're avoiding their friends, you know, and you know they're not as talkative and fun and active as they used to be. Um, you know, if usually they're the first one in line when it's wing ding day and they're not there eating those wing dings, you know, they're just not the person that they used to be, then usually those are signs of depression. What would you do if somebody close to you was going through depression? Um, the first thing I would do would be to give them a big old hug. <laughs> and um, I mean, different situations call for different solutions. Um, personally, I am uh, I'm a mommy, so I do mommy type things. I, you know, I bake, so I, I do cupcakes and cookies. And I mean, you you do something to just sit there and let them know that you're there for them. You know, sit down one on one and you know just let them know that you can come and talk to me. You know. Whenever, no pressure, whenever you're ready to talk, I'm here to talk. And there's a plate of cookies. <laughs> so I'll be sure to come to you if I'm ever depressed for those cookies. No problem. And in my office, I always have chocolate. Today we met with Mr. Rashar and Dr. Davenport and a few other counselors and some students about depression. It's good to know that we have people on campus that care about us and are willing to take out time to help us with our issues. Being in college is extremely stressful and we just need to know that we're not alone and there's people out there that help. For more videos, you can visit us at youtube.com slash discoverumes. See you guys next time. <laughs>